All right, here's a big breaking that we're currently tracking. The Supreme Court, Supreme Court now dictating orders on Ganesh Utsav to be celebrated or not at the Eidga Maidan in Bengaluru. Suspense on Bengaluru's Ganesh Utsav celebrations at the Vak Board Eidga Maidan only building. Supreme Court now allows states to permit religious festivities. All right. Big development here coming in from the Supreme Court as the Supreme Court dictating the order at this minute over whether or not whether or not Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations can be carried out at the Eidga Maidan. The Solicitor General says the state should be allowed to permit religious cultural festivals at the ground. No permanent structure will be created. Let Karnataka government hold the government managed Ganesh festival. Supreme Court asks why puja can't be held in, the, in some other grounds. All right, so Supreme Court at this point saying that the state government has the freedom to conduct religious and cultural festivals at that ground. The Solicitor General saying that state should be allowed. This is uh, the Solicitor General saying that the state should be allowed. The Supreme Court, of course, yet to dictate its verdict. Anisha Mathur to give us an understanding. Anisha, give us uh, an understanding on what the Supreme Court has said. We believe status quo ordered at the Eidga Maidan. Is that right? Anisha, status quo ordered at the Eidga Maidan. We aren't able to hear you as yet. But huge uh, development coming in the case, even as uh, the Solicitor General asked for the state to be allowed to permit religious cultural festivals in Eidga Maidan. The Supreme Court now saying status quo maintained for now. Supreme Court orders status quo at the Eidga Maidan, which means for now that so long as many years there were, there were no other religious festivals that were allowed. Will that be continued even until the, you know, will that be continued in the future? Anisha Mathur with more on that. Anisha, a quick word. What does status quo really mean when the Supreme Court says maintain status quo with regards to this case? Well, uh, well, Nabila, if you can hear me now, uh, the Supreme Court has passed status quo orders, no Ganesh Chaturthi festivities on those grounds for now. The court has said that the issues of ownership and the legality of who owns that land can be considered by the Karnataka High Court. Court also saying if there has been no... Uh, 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 there has been no festivities there for 200 years, then why? Uh, uh, then uh, there is no need to pass or to allow festivities this time as well. Break, breaking news here: Ganesh Chaturthi festival will not be celebrated at the Bangalore Eidga grounds. That is what the court has said. Status quo to be maintained as of right now. The court specifically had asked the state government: Have you made any arrangement? Has any uh, anything happened at that ground right as of now? When the Solicitor General said that nothing has been. Uh, created there in fact, uh, huge in fact, development. Government had asked Anisha, court, Supreme Court, uh, let's get the crux of it. The operative part, Anisha, a quick word. Supreme Court says maintain status quo. No Ganesh Chaturthi festivities will be allowed at the Eidga Maidan. That's the order for now. Status quo for now. But uh, in the future, will there be any scope for other religions to celebrate their festivals or cultural events at the Bucks Board uh, uh, governed property? Is there scope for that? Well, Nabila, that is the question that the Karnataka High Court will now have to consider. That is something that the Karnataka High Court will have to consider. It is up to the Karnataka High Court now to look at the larger question, to adjudicate the entire debate of ownership about who, whether the state can allow other festivals, whether the state, what the state can do there. Court has very clearly said status quo to be maintained for as it is right now. Uh, the larger issue can be adjudicated at a later stage. So it's a very, very big development coming in from the Supreme Court now as status quo has to be maintained. The legal issues of who owns this land, whether something else can be done later, will uh, be agitated before the Karnataka High Court. And we are waiting to get some more updates coming in from the Supreme Court, from inside the Supreme Court as... Uh, our colleague, uh, Srishti yeah. and Sanjay uh, are inside you know, the or detailed uh, order Anisha, is being dictated by the we, we court. Get, we get your point. Uh, the hearing is still is underway. Of course, the, the Supreme Court, they're still dictating the order. But the operative part here and the most important takeaway for uh, people who are very keenly watching this is that the Supreme Court now says maintain status quo. For now, no Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations will be allowed at the Eidga Maidan in Bengaluru. Anisha, I'm not too sure if you could elaborate on this, but in Hubballi, Another district in Karnataka, 
The same Eidgah Maidan, a similar property again governed by the Waqf Board was, uh, according to the district officials there, were, was uh, getting readied for Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations to be allowed. There too the case was at the Karnataka High Court. But will this judgment for Bengaluru prevail across the state of Karnataka, across all Eidgah Maidan? Uh, well, uh, uh, Nabila, that is something that we'll have to wait to see in the uh, detailed order that comes from the Supreme Court. Hmm. Because remember, this case in the Supreme Court is only and only about the Bangalore Eidgah. Hmm. If and if this matter, if the same argument, because uh, and remember, none of the arguments about any other Eidgah or any other grounds have been raised in hmm. this case. So it is highly unlikely that any such orders will be passed. But as we speak, our colleagues are inside the court. A detailed order will come out. But what the court has very clearly said, Nabila, is that you have to maintain status quo. You can, and this is an observation also from coming from the bench that you can hold puja anywhere else, somewhere else. You can go back to the high court and uh, uh, agitate the rest of the issues. The court specifically had asked that have any arrangements already been made at the Maidan to hold any such festival? What exactly is the status of that ground right now? Mm. The uh, government very clearly told them that nothing has been done there. Security arrangements are in place. So the court very clearly, Justice Banerjee saying, you can hold puja somewhere else. Why can't you hold puja somewhere else? Why uh, uh, You can go back to the High Court for the other issues. What is also important is that the court has taken note of this argument that there has been no Ganesh Puja at that particular ground in Bangalore All for right. the last 200 years.